What's up, guys? Welcome back to Laced Up Podcast. We got AJ Vompachon with us today. Uh, recent transfer from Utah State. Uh, one of my buddies actually got to the opportunity to play with him at Utah State. Now we've been playing together at BYU, so it's super fun. Um, first off, your did I pronounce your name right, Vompachon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your full name? No, my so my first name is uh, Eknalon, and then middle name Jaron. So that's AJ and then Vompachon. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Okay, good. AJ Vompachon. Um, what ethnicity is that? I know yeah. I've asked you before. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, so my dad's from Laos. So it's really our that's the name where the name it's like originally Thai, from. right? Yeah, right exactly. next to Thailand, yep. isn't it? Similar, and then uh, that's where we're just from. And then uh, so I'm half Laos and then half Mexican. Okay, yep. that's an interesting. Mix. So is Mexican from come from your mom? My mom. Yep. Okay, sweet. And uh, you grew up in Washington, right? Yep. So tell us about that. Yeah, so it's kind of eastern Washington. It's called like Tri Cities. I'm from Pasco, but uh, yeah, not too many people kind of know that area. Because when I say Washington, people usually automatically think like Seattle, right? But it's like totally different. It kind of looks like um, it's just very dry. Like there's not like a lot of trees going on. Like you yeah, Washington, there's like trees, rain, but it's like super dry. Like and it's like kinda almost kind of like similar Utah, just no mountains. Yeah, it's like kind of the similar, uh, I guess, weather. My brother uh, served his mission in the Tri Cities. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Because like Kennewick is technically the yeah, mission. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he was in Kennewick and Tri Cities, and then uh, I think he they went all the way down to like Portland or uh, not Portland, but Oregon. Yeah, yeah, it's all so, kind of centralized. Yeah. So, um, and what was it? What was it called? Where you grew up? Pasco. Pasco. Yep. Okay. And uh, is that where you grew up your whole life? Like. Yeah. So I, I grew up there my whole life. Um, kind of where my parents were at, and then I went to school there, and then um, was there until I got to Utah State, so that's kind of been my little journey there. What was your high school like? Was it big, small? Uh, It was it was big, but uh, I don't know. It's hard to, hard to explain because, like, Utah goes to 6A. Yeah. We only go to 4A, but I feel like it's still big. Like, here, 4A is, would be smaller, 4A there. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So um, I think it, it is the biggest. It's the biggest you can get, but it's not like um, – some like the bigger, bigger schools, like in, uh, like I'm sure there's bigger schools here, and then like you know, like Cali, Texas, probably right. bigger schools. But yeah, what's uh football like in Washington? Because like at Utah State, I swear we had a ton of dudes from like that PNW area. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like <laughs> high school, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think Utah football might be a little more. It just seems a little more like connected here. Yeah, you know, and uh, kind of more. People are getting a lot more offers in high school and right. stuff like that in Washington. Like, I know in Seattle, it's a little bit more jumping with the offers and stuff. But yeah. kind of my area, it's like at least when I was growing up, um, it was like it was like super hard to get an offer. Like, especially like D one. Like, most of the guys like when I seen go in high school and I was like younger, we'll go kind of like D two um, or like kind of JUCO that kind of route. And so, yeah, I feel like it's not as uh, I, like to even see like a five star like from that area would just be crazy. But, yeah, yeah. What uh, I actually want to come back to that, but well, before I forget, tell me about your family. Mm-hmm. So it's just uh, so it's I got a younger sister and then my mom and dad, so that's it. And then so my younger sister, uh, is two years younger than me. We goes to Boise, and then uh, she just recently moved to Houston though. Um, she just didn't like Boise, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she was just sick of being in Idaho. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can only take Boise for yeah. so long, huh? No, for sure. I mean, it was a cool spot, honestly. Yeah. I thought it was cool because me, come with some of the boys at Utah State, we, we visited her. Yeah. One of the breaks. I thought it was cool. It was like a little city, uh, I guess, compared to Logan, you know what right. I'm saying? But I, I thought it was cool. I guess it just depends on who you're with at the same time. But for sure. So it's just her and then, uh, yeah, my mom and dad. That's dope. Yep. So, uh, come back to what we were talking about earlier. Was your plan always to go play college football, or, or what did you do in high school? Yeah, that was kind of my, always my plan. I kind of played football a little later than most kids. I want to say super late, but uh, kind of the middle school age, um, probably like sixth grade. And then ever since then, that's always kind of been, you know, I kind of fell in love with it, wanted to play it, and then throughout high school, that's when I, um, you know, really wanted to at the next level obviously like most kids and then just ended up getting my opportunity kind of later I didn't have a ton of offers um like I mentioned it was car so my first offer was like eastern Washington yeah um I think that was like <coughs> right like going into my senior year like off a of camp or something like that. yeah 
because you know like you do like team camps you can go up there and like be right there. so it was that and then um yeah and then after that you know obviously trying to get a power five i wanted to stay in state um you i actually wanted to go to uw um or wazoo just because it was super close yeah but uh you know, and obviously just in, didn't end up happening and then ended up getting um, utah state which is kind of my first fbs and it wasn't actually real like i don't know how to explain it because so coach enna was there that's when they first got there coach gary anderson that staff that was like their first year there but uh it was weird because when they offered me, they said, like, if I wanted to come in with the rest of the freshmen, I would have to um, I would have to pay. And otherwise, I would have to wait till the first day of fall camp, and then, you know, everything would be paid for. I, th- yeah. I, th- I can't remember what it's called. I think a blue shirt yeah. or gray shirt. Not a gray shirt, but it would be Where, like, you got to pay, like, what, like, for your summer and all that? Yeah, for, uh, yeah exactly. You wouldn't, I wouldn't get, like, a, a stipend for the summer. And, until fall school. Until fall school starts. Yeah, the same thing. Okay. I'd do the yeah, same yeah. thing. I think, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that makes sense. Because me, I know me... I think Coop and like Brock were yeah. on the same thing, but so basically that ended up taking that. I kind of had a couple more FBSs after, but it was just like Colorado State and Air Force. Gotcha. And uh, you didn't want to go to Air Force? Nah, I took I, a visit out there. Though. <laughs> I took I took a visit to I didn't take a visit to Utah State, but I took a visit to Colorado State and Air Force. Yeah, Windsor Air Force, and I was like, dang, because I I know like the life after football they kind of set you up yeah, pretty, pretty yeah. nicely, and I was like. Shoot, like and a lot of people were telling me to go there, like go there. It's like get set up, you'll be set. It's a safe play for yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah. But I was like, I went on the visit. I was like, shoot, I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> the life schedule looked crazy because yeah. folding your bed every morning and yeah, and I was like, which is like you know respect to those guys and everything. For sure, just, I don't think it's what I wanted to, for my experience, right? Yeah, um, went to Colorado State, and then I was just, I can't remember why I didn't like. I think they wanted me to play at. 270 oh as wow a tr- as a true defensive end because I, I obviously came up as a defensive end I yeah playing linebacker till uh utah state but yeah so that's i didn't want to get to 270 and uh you know i didn't take a visit to utah state or nothing and i just like whatever i'm just commit because really my first they were always showing love you know and yeah um no visit or nothing but i was just like it's, it just seemed like the best best thing there so so uh you played d end all the way up until well, even when you got to Utah State, to first played DN, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all my life I played DN. Um, you know, growing up, little or little league or whatever, middle school, and even high school I played DN. And I, yeah. at one point, really, I, my hand was in the ground. You know, three point stance always in the ground. Right. And uh, got to Utah State, did the same thing for, I want to say that first portion of fall camp, like mm-hmm. going into freshman year, did that, and then Coach Anna moved me linebacker and then kind of made that transition but uh yeah i i, I love i love defensive end like I was do kinda, you yeah it's, it's super fun like i feel like you don't gotta think you gotta just go you know what I'm right saying? so it's gotta be uh, i've never played it i've played most positions haven't played that one it's gotta be probably one of the easier mentally right yeah it's kind of like 100 <laughs> percent right there's not a lot to it <laughs> if there was one position I, I would play like i'm not i'm not six five i, I wish i was six five so i could just play defensive end edge straight up yeah because bro that's the, like the funnest position like minimal obviously you can watch film but like it's just you against him you know right so it's at the end of the day it's like it's just a one-on-one all day all game long which is like a linebacker it's like everything's going on like so much you got to worry about the formations the, the you checks. have to react so exactly. quick exactly. yeah like so. you you could have a job the ball snapped and now you have a completely different job exactly. that you got to process all that in like 0.7 seconds exactly yeah no i I've tried to explain so many people like that, uh, you know, don't really know no football. Yeah, it's it's a lot, bro. Like to process, especially at linebacker, so much. Yeah, because it's like I, I think at safety, like you got a little bit more time. Yeah, a backer is like you're right there. You're you know like five saying? yards, and if like you don't see like the pull or something, yeah, you're done. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Yeah, it's different, but I like it. So it's it's been good. That's awesome. The uh, it's funny though because DN's like they really don't have a lot on their plate. But the one time it's like, okay, you have quarterback on the pole. They never get quarterback. Yeah, They're exactly. always diving in at the running back. Exactly. <laughs> it's like you have one job. Bro. Exactly. Everybody, yeah, there's nothing worse than when you know, like you're just watching it. And if you understand football, you understand like, hey, he's not supposed to dive in on that. And, right. You know, but um, have you got the chance to, well, I'm assuming you've had the chance to dive pretty deep into the playbook already. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a, that was a big reason why I came here. I mean, you know, I kind of went to a couple different places out the right. portal. But uh, this is obviously kind of stood out to me because of the relationship I had with Coach Jenna. You know, mm-hmm. he kind of brought me out of high school. 
Yeah. And I kind of took a chance, obviously, with not taking no visits or nothing. Right. And um, missing the whole summer mm -hmm. going into fall camp. Um, so it was that, that. That was a big part of it. Um, so I kind of obviously trusted him. I knew what I was going to get. And, uh, you know, I knew he was going to push me to be, you know, where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the second thing was the playbooks. He, we ran a pretty, I guess, basically the same thing. With some variations, but overall the same terminology, how we're running, how we're fitting the plays and stuff. So, you know, I – Knowing that, I in my timeline with only being here less than a year, I, I knew I wanted to kind of you know make it a seamless transition almost for sure. Yeah. Um. So, and uh, wait, what year did you graduate high school? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen, and you said Enna was there, right when you that he was your the linebackers coach your first year at Utah State, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was their first year that they got there, and he mm -hmm. was at Utah, um, and he was kind of talking to me, and yeah. obviously. I was recruited as a defensive end, so he was the linebackers coach at Utah. But yeah, that was kind of my connection there. And then when he got the job at Utah State, that's kind of when uh, you know I, I linked up with him and then uh, made that transition to linebacker because he was the DC at that uh, at that point in time. Right. Okay. Um, were you how big were you coming out? Like, were you always a big dude? Because I mean, mm -hmm. you said you're Laos and Mexican, and those aren't big people, and you're a big dude. Like, yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. what yeah. Like. Are your parents big? No, my parents are super small, actually. So um, I don't know if you got a chance to see them on the visit, but so my dad, they're both pretty, like, they're both, like, five, I probably five. saw them and didn't even realize it was your parents. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they're both, like, 5'5", five, five, around 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. My dad, he's super small. Like, he might be 120. Really? Yeah, yeah, give or take. He's, he's Laos. Yeah, he's super small. Yeah, super <laughs> small. And my mom's, a, so they're both small. My sister's at the same height. Yeah. So they're all kind of 5'5", five, five, but... My whole family's like that, and I, I really don't know. I just kind of got blessed. And just like some, yeah. yeah, they're just God's gift. Like, yeah, here for you sure. go. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Dude, no, that's it's a wild. blessing. I'm always jealous of those people. I, my parents are normal. My mom's like, whatever, five, three. My dad's six foot. So, like, oh, I'm yeah. six foot. Like, nothing crazy. Yeah, but yeah. Whenever it's, I, I never understand it when you see, like, these short parents and some, like, giant kid out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like. I don't know. I, I low-key think maybe it's like. Cause like growing up, my dad maybe he was like malnourished or something. He was just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe he was supposed to be tall. Yeah, he just exactly. didn't have the nutrients. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> then when I got the ate the right food, like I just ended up growing. But I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. That's way funny. So, uh, Anna took your linebacker. You played linebacker at Utah State. Uh, have you enjoyed linebacker? Like, is that something you really? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because growing like going through high school, being being a defensive end, I I love that. But I, I wanted to go play at the next level, which, you know, professional, like NFL. You yeah. Know, and I knew I'm looking, I'm like, shoot, there's probably not, there's not as many defensive ends that are my size. And, you know, I probably need to play linebacker, which is like, I'm thinking like, I don't even know how to approach that. Just go up to coach, be like, let me play linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> and it just ended up falling, you know, he ended up moving me and I liked it. I, I like it now. Um, but at first it was tough, bro. Like, I yeah. Remember, like it was, especially that freshman year. It was super difficult just to understand how everything works, like the coverage part of it, mm -hmm. even just like reading, you know, how to play the run, the pulls. Um, because my freshman year, one of the guys who uh, uh, that was, was starting at the time, he got hurt. He was one of the older guys. So I, I got an opportunity to play kind of early. Um, but, bro, I was just spinning out there. Like, everything was just going super fast, like, I'm not even know. I'm just kind of trying to just find the ball and go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm missing everything, like not reading my keys or nothing. Just yeah. kind of running around, almost like high school. Like right. If you were in high just school, just like chase the ball. Exactly, which was horrible. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> just just to be out there it was like it was good just to see it. Because the next year, like my 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 uh, brain was actually slowing it down now. But isn't it crazy? Like that was for me uh, when I got moved to like a, a nickel position having to read like a wing back like coming across the formation like that was just like like what like it's i'd boring. never had to yeah yeah um but it's crazy how like your brain like the whole game literally slows down yeah. like it you can feel it like slow down like when you start everything's just like a million miles an hour you're like i have no idea what's yeah. going on what was the hardest part about all of it the the switch i would i would just say i i think physically i was good because i i came i came into college pretty heavy um because yeah. i was playing trying to play defensive end and i was trying to play play and I knew, obviously, missing the summer, I had to do it on my own. So right. I came in at, like, 240, 240 mm -hmm. almost um, around there, 240, 245. Yeah. And obviously, I had to kind of lean out a little bit to play linebacker. So I was kind of – physically, I was, it was good. So it wasn't the physical part, but it was 
it was that mental part. It was just learning the plays because you, you know the defense we're not like how many checks there is. Right. Doing that as a freshman, like knowing the formation, who I'm going to drop off of. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. my responsibility changes with the motions and yeah. stuff. It's just so much. And like happens like that. Right. And like if you don't know and you can't process that, it's like you're done. You know what I'm saying? So right. that was the hardest part, just that mental part and you know, things just moving so fast. Like, you know, I can't I the wing coming back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the guard pulling and everyone's going this way. <laughs> yeah, like, like, it was just tough, bro. <laughs> your your hole or your gap changing after the ball snap, like exactly. I remember when I heard that that was a thing. I was like, "This is crazy." Like, how, <laughs> yeah, how it really is. This? It really is. I can't. Remember. I've actually. I've thought that like with our. We have a lot of freshman linebackers right now who are actually pretty good. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, if I was having to do that as a freshman, like I would be lost. Yeah. Because like, the game's already moving so fast as a freshman, it's like, what the heck? And then all the responsibilities on top of that that we have at linebacker. I should say you have, but just in our defense, I'm like, it's crazy. No, yeah, and those guys are dogs. Though. I mean, they've done a great job watching the film and stuff like. Right. Picking it up really well. So you played your freshman year at Utah State? Yeah. Yeah. So didn't, uh, I didn't redshirt, um, kind of just played sporadically mm-hmm. um, when the when the older guys needed it. And then when he got hurt, one of the guys got hurt. That's when I kind of uh, got a chance to play more. But uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't anything like great or nothing, but right. more so just being out there. So did you have an injury at some point at Utah State? Like, I feel like when I showed up there, I felt like you were coming back from an injury. Am I wrong? You came in 2020? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I uh, so after my freshman season, I, uh, like, tore my meniscus. Mm-hmm. And then I remember, like, it was towards the back end of the season. And then, you know, I would go in the training room. They'd be like, I'd be like hey, my knee's bugging. Like, yeah. it's hurting. And they're like, you can just go ice and stem. <laughs> That was, like, that's the thing, right? Ice like, step. Every day, every day, I'm like, yo, my name, my knee's not getting better. The stem's not working. <laughs> it's not working. And you know how it is. Like, you yeah. go in there, like, I just ice some stem. You'll be straight. I hate the stem, dude. <laughs> but, I, but I know my body, like, it's hurting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay. Season ends. I'm like, well, they're not doing anything. Like, my knee's still bugging. I got to go get it checked out. I go home for the mu- May break. Yeah. I uh, get it checked out. They're like, oh, yeah, your knee, you tore your meniscus. Like, you're going to need surgery. Man. So I'm like. Come on, bro. This is sick. Cause like right. they're like, nah, you're straight. Like you're like you like, you're yeah. straight. And then I go <laughs> home, like, you need it, yeah, you need surgery. And I'm like, and I'm scared because I never got no surgery, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh yeah, it was it was all good. I did a surgery back home. Uh it was just a scope on my yeah, like, knee and nothing too crazy. Nah, and it was good. And uh, yeah, I was just coming back from it that summer. But uh uh yeah, that was that was it. That was it. Okay. So how many years were you at Utah State? So four. Yeah, four years. Four, and then so this is my COVID year. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So no red shirt, nothing. Yep. Um, so last year was your last season in Utah State. Yep. Played a lot, did really well. What ultimately led to you hitting the portal? Yeah, so I mean, you obviously kind of know and kind of you heard kind of what transpired, but I mean, a lot of guys were already leaving mm-hmm. from specifically from one position. Yeah, the defensive line, right? Right. And uh, so obviously, like. You know, it's not a big thing, but it's, like, something. You know, I'm obviously yeah. playing behind them, and I don't know who's going to be in front. Like, Right. And for my last year, I just don't want to be in, like, a position where it's, like, a ton of young guys, which, you know, I don't, I don't think that's the case with them now, but you know, that's what's going through my mind. And uh, so I'm kind of just asking, like, you know, what's the plan? Like, you know, I, I feel like, you know, it wasn't – there wasn't any guys coming in at the time. Yeah. You know, kind of – but, you know, they, they – now that I see, you know, they obviously got – a lot of guys incoming, and uh, you got Holly still. But yeah. that was a ma- major concern for me initially. So that's kind of what I had the conversation with. And they're like, now we're going to bring guys in. And obviously they did. But uh, that was kind of what they were saying. Boom, boom, boom. And then, uh, you know, they – Coach Bonda leaves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was kind of my, my uh, – kind of really what the reason was. Because, you know, obviously my time there, I've had an, a new coach or a new defensive uh, scheme almost every year. Right. Um ever since I got there. So it's always so much turnover, turnover, turnover. And then, so when that happened, I was like, you know, I got to learn a new defense anyways. Right. Then I might as well just try to go see if uh, I can do it at a kind of a, you know, bigger, bigger school or bigger conference or whatever. Um, that was kind of my, my thought process. And um, obviously kind of worked out here with me being familiar with the, with the scheme and staff already. So, yeah. So when you hit the portal, cause I think a lot of dudes will hit the portal, like, without a plan ahead of time they're just like i'm just gonna hit this thing and like 
see who offers me and then yeah. they go in there and no one offers them right yeah. which i always think is kind of like risky did you have like some assurance at least ahead of time like hey i know if i hit this portal like at least i'm gonna have some options or was it just like i know i've played well enough to where i'll yeah well it initially started because i'm not gonna lie the portal was a scary thought to me in general because obviously i'm seeing guys some, some right. guys go in there <laughs> lost you know right. what i'm saying just they never lost. come out yeah, of that thing. i'm like shoot i don't want to be in that situation because that would be sickening. Like, right. You go in Last there, like, year. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I really wasn't planning on it at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm seeing the guys leaving. Some of the guys that are leaving. Yeah. They're kind of blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Kinda, yeah. But they're good. You know, obviously they're good. Right. And, uh, you know, I I kind of know what I've done on the field. Like, just mm -hmm. with a lot of experience, um, you know, playing a lot of ball. And, you know, I feel like I, I've done a, a decent job, you know, putting out film, good film. So to the extent, like, I knew, like, I would get something, you know what I'm saying? Right. Something. You aren't, you aren't going to be left hanging. Yeah, like, exactly. At least, okay. Right. So <laughs> that was kind of my thought process. And, uh, you know, so that's why I wasn't too concerned. It was more a matter of going into the right situation. That was kind of the biggest thing because I didn't want to go in a situation too, like where I go in and I'm just, you know, not playing at all. You know what right. I'm saying? Because that, that's another thing, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. another thing. And which also would be dumb when I could have just played at Utah State. Um, right. Because, yeah, exactly. I mean, I seen that happen with dudes firsthand. 100%. Like my last year at Utah State, there were, we had some seniors transferring who were playing at other schools, yeah. transfer in to not play at all. Exactly. It's like, I was like you would have had I don't know how much of a shot at the league, but like you would have at least had a chance to like get yeah, picked something. up. You know something. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. But like no one's picking up someone who didn't play their exactly. senior. So. Exactly. And which was stress, like, bro, that whole process of me leaving there it was it was tough because like I was don't want to leave the boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. You know, I was in a leadership position already, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of younger guys, and, you know, I didn't want to leave them. So that was kind of probably the hardest part. And then, obviously, talking with the coaches was another hard part, too, you know. Yeah. Because I do like, uh, you know, the staff there, my position coach, Coach Zuck, he was great. You know, he helped me a lot. And Zuck. There's yeah. only one Zuck, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you know Coach Zuck, there's only one of those Right, guys. right. So he's the man. And then, so... I mean, those conversations, and then not, not only that, but the strength staff, I thought it was great. You know what I'm saying? Coach oh, Jack. It, uh, I thought they were the real – I think they're the real deal, and you know, I still think they are. So that was another big – just having those conversations were hard, just kind of with everyone. That was kind of the hardest right. part. But, uh, you know, everyone kind of understood and, um, you know, supported me to this day. So That's awesome. Yeah. And there, yeah, Coach Jack, if anybody's wondering, like, that guy, he's the real, real deal. deal. He's yeah. awesome. As, like, obviously, like, his philosophies and the way he trains, I think, are great. But also just, like, the type of person he is. Like, yeah. he's just a respectable dude. 100%. So. Like, he just – yeah, he's one of those guys you just respect off the bat. Like, For sure. Yeah, so, no Like, doubt. the way he handles situations, handles himself, yeah. like, you know, he's not on bull crap. Like, he's – yeah. So, I, I, I love Coach Jack. Got a lot of respect for him still. Um, so, you hit the portal. How many offers – like, what, what were some of your biggest offers, like, some of your biggest temptations? Yeah, so, honestly, I didn't – think i was gonna get that many stuff i, thought I was gonna get some stuff right. um, but i actually ended up getting uh more than i thought so the first day was kind of crazy it was just like my phone was just always messages like coming like high school you know it was like high school like where you get off twitter yeah and uh my twitter my twitter was kind of blowing up with messages yeah but different than high school like i didn't obviously my high school recruiting wasn't that big you know right so like i, I wasn't used to it a lot of other school a lot of schools that i didn't think would hit me hit me um and kind of how I narrowed it down was the need. The need was the biggest thing. Like, yeah. I didn't want to go somewhere and just ride the bench. You know right, what I'm same so, thing we talked about. Exactly. So that's that's kind of the first thing and the first questions. You know, I talked to a ton of schools. Um, but So I guess the vis I'll start with the visit. The visits I went to was here, Wazoo, South Carolina, and then Minnesota. So those are kind of the ones that I feel like were the best, just with the relationships, yeah, with the coaches that I built, and then the need. Mm -hmm. It was other schools um, that offered me that I just didn't get get a chance to get out. Um, which Louisville, Kentucky, um, Arizona State. Um, that's all I can think of top of my head. It was other few other few schools that hit me up, um, but they're kind of just playing around i felt like yeah. so i just stopped, <laughs> stopped talking to you know you know what i'm right. talking about um but so yeah that was kind of the the biggest ones and then i mean took those visits it was kind of exhausting because i tried to do them really quickly right um because i think i came here during the week right um and then so i did like week like three days um just in the middle of the week so boom 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 all back to back to back to back right so just from flying from one place to another 
And yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. I mean, honestly, at one point I was like, I think I'm just gonna lock it in. But like, I knew like I would never get the opportunity again to kind of go yeah. to those places. And I'm not gonna lie, one thing too, like <laughs> that was kind of stressful at the part it was like I didn't want other coaches, other schools to know that I was going to other places. So yeah. I kind of keep it on the low. Like I, I remember, <laughs> I remember I probably shouldn't say, it, but I remember when I went to Wazoo. Like, like where else are you gonna go? I was like, I'm probably just gonna go to BYU and call it call it quits. But like I knew like I <laughs> wanted to go to Minnesota or South Carolina. Yeah. And when I would go, like, bro, I'd be so on edge because, like, yeah, like, shoot, I hope they don't like find out. It's like cheating on your girlfriend, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, <You're> like, <laughs> like, bro, like, I was like, I don't want, I, I wanted to post so bad, like, like that I was yeah. there, obviously, like posting and stuff, but right? Like, kind of just kept it low key, and like when, like the, you know, like reporters from the school, like hit you, right? Like, hey, we want to write a story, like you there. I was like, I just want to reply, but I'd be like, damn, I kind of want to just for the buzz, you know, right? Because right. I'm not gonna, like, I wanted the buzz, but like, I didn't. For me, I don't know. I'm weird because I don't like to post a lot on social media. Yeah, I don't like to post, post, post. But like for that stuff, like I was like, shoot, it would be kind of cool, you know. It, I mean, I would imagine it's kind of cool. Like you got a lot of people wanting you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like especially I didn't get it at high school. Yeah, so it's it like that feeling like, of being wanted, being like a high recruit. Yeah. Like that's awesome. But uh, I mean, even the boys that you just said was like, post the pictures, bro. I'm like, I'm, I can't, bro. <laughs> I just be like, I don't want to like hurt like get in trouble or nothing like yeah but I, it's all good <laughs> that's all funny happened. yeah so uh would you say ultimately just came down to your relationship with anna and the need here yeah 100 percent. it was just like super convenient <laughs> like <Yeah>. down the road <laughs> exactly <laughs> and like you know coach anna like i don't know there was a lot of people was like you, you know like that i shouldn't just do it based off those reasons you know right because um but for me it just felt right you know and it felt right the first time around out of high school, which mm -hmm. obviously is a little different situation. Like, you know, I'm choosing from like a totally different group of schools, but uh, it kind of just felt the same way where I'm like, shoot, I'm just gonna take a chance, you know, and mm -hmm. it felt right. And, you know, obviously I got to work to kind of make it, make it right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So, right. The, for those who don't know coach Anna, what's he like? Yeah. So, He's, he's a character. He's different. Yeah, he's different for sure. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. Like, he's, I uh, love Coach Ed. Yeah, no, he's good. I mean, great dude, but he, he will get on you, you know what I'm yeah. saying, at the end of the day. like, And, uh, you know, he's a hard, hard coach. Right. But, it, you know, for me, it was like, you know, he, he's going to make you a tough player. And, he, you know, he did, you know, when I was younger. And uh, he's going to demand the best out of me, you know. Mm -hmm. and obviously, like, you know, he's going to be yelling and screaming out there. But right. uh, at the end of the day, like, he wants he sees what you can be and like that's what that's what I, that's why he's doing that you know what i'm saying so right i think he's one of those coaches where like when you understand how he is and like you're able to build a relationship with him yeah. like he'll he'll have your back yeah. the whole like for sure but yes. like if you aren't willing to you know work with him it's like then you're just in you know yeah, you're done for <laughs> yeah good luck <laughs> exactly. just leave now so exactly. <clears throat> no he's awesome he were you i guess you would have been in the room at utah state when he Moved me to linebacker my freshman year at Utah State. Yeah. And I was like, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he pulls me. I'm like, dude, what are you like? Oh, wait. I mean, I guess I was probably 200 at the time. Yeah. He's like, do you think you can get a 205? I was like, I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm like, bro, you know I'm not a linebacker. Right. Like, we both know I'm not a linebacker. He's like, yeah. I like the way you move. I was like, no, it just doesn't work that way. Yeah, I'm exactly. Like, it's, it's a different game. It it's is. I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'll come down and bang somebody, but just not. I'm not a linebacker, yeah. bro. But no, he's. <laughs> No, he's he's always been good to me, so I like him. What what's uh what are some of the differences you see at BYU versus Utah State? Yeah, I mean, just from a locker room standpoint, at Utah State, there's so many different people from different places. Yeah, and that come together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that was a big thing. Like you get people from so many different types of people. Like yeah, uh, you know, and so like so many characters <laughs> on the team. You know? Yeah. So it's just like you know you know characters, what I'm saying? man. That's a good way so, to put uh, it. There's that. That's a for sure thing. And then like at BYU, it's like. Or like you get a lot more Utah guys, you know yeah, for sure. Which, which is still good, you know. I think it, they're all cool guys. They're, they're obviously different, but yeah, the um, it's it's almost hard to explain. But it, that's like kind of the best way I can put it from a locker room standpoint. Yeah. Um, but I guess the other differences is like the resources at BYU is a lot. You know, that was kind of a big yeah. thing. Like, you know, Dan doesn't play around, bro. Like, bro, that, that's such a game changer, bro. Like, shout I, out Dan, right? Shout out, big that's shout out Dan. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't stress that enough. Like, bro, like. Even on the other visits I went to, mm -hmm. you know, like South Carolina, Minnesota, like 
you know, I don't, they weren't doing it like that, you know what I'm saying? Where right. Like, he's, like, cooking every day, like, bro. that's a lot, that's a lot of food every day, bro. Like, bro. And it's just, like, bro, I haven't spent money on food in, like, a while, too, you know what I'm right? saying? Right. So, I try to take advantage of it. Like, I know a lot of guys <laughs> are kind of sick of it, but, like, for me, it's just, like, hey, it's free. And, like, I think right? it's good. Like, the salmon's fire. Yeah. Like, oh, the steak, yeah. chicken, I, I'll get it all, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I need to. I need to have Dan on the pod. Dude. No, you really, here to talk. <laughs> you really do. He's a character, but yeah. that guy, he pulls out. He's got like ten triggers outside the weight room. Yeah, every day out there just cooking chicken steak, and then lately he's been doing the fish. Yeah, the fish, fish is just crazy. crazy. Oh man, yeah, no, Dan's the. He's a real deal. I was, sh- I was shocked by that. Yeah, I remember like because you have like a fuel card you can spend whatever. They got like right. seven bucks a day. Mm-hmm. And I get there and some dude's like, hey, like, I'm like, I was like, oh, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, going to get some lunch. He's like, just eat here. I'm like, oh, I don't have my fuel card yet. He's like, no, 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 just like in the weight room. I'm like, yeah. what do you mean? He like opens the fridge and just like, he's like, you just stacks up. I'm like, well, how many can I take? He's like, just whatever you're hungry, like as many as you want. I'm like, yeah, what? That, that was the thing too. I was like, they're like, there's no limit. Cause I asked too, I was like, wait, what's, how many can I take? He's like, whatever you want. It's like, I remember I was like grabbing like protein shakes, yeah. like a couple, cause at Utah State, they're like, grab one. Grab like, one yeah. On a heavy day, grab yeah. two protein <laughs> shakes. Right? And I remember I grabbed like two or three of them. And, like, I see other people, gra- like, grabbing a couple. So, I'm, like, grab, like, two or three of them. Someone's, like, why don't you just go ask Dan for a case? Yeah. I'm, like, what do you mean? Like, he'll just give you a case. I'm, like, walk out with a full case. I'm, like, oh, man, yeah, I always crazy. see guys grabbing <laughs> cases, cases. I'm, like, this is crazy, bro. Oh, it's so crazy. Um, but what is, um, what are you most excited for going into the year? Yeah, just, I guess just playing the season. Obviously, the schedule is super exciting. Uh, it's crazy. It's going to be a new conference, but, uh. I mean, week in and week out, you know, it's going to be a great, great schedule. And, you know, that's kind of ultimately what I'm excited for. And obviously I played here um, as a, an away team and it was rocking, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, dude. <laughs> and so, like, I couldn't imagine, like, on the home side and then yeah. in the Big 12, like, it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to be great. How many times did you play here? Uh, I only got a chance to play here once because of COVID. So yeah. COVID was supposed to come here, but obviously canceled. So last year was my first year playing here and I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I, w- I was at that game, and yeah. that was that was dope. Yeah. Um, I I just I remember I was talking to my brother. It's like, dude, the BYU games go crazy. Yeah, like they're different. The BYU fans are crazy. But um, what are some of your goals, like aspirations in life? Yeah, obviously, like you know, to play at the next level. At this point, you know, that's right. kind of what I'm trying to you know dedicate you know every day to. You know, my you know schedule. I'm obviously not doing school, or I am doing school, but like. I already graduated. So yeah, <laughs> to school. So just kind of folk trying to, you know, go all in, you know, as much as I can, and yeah, putting my putting myself in the best position to play at the next level. And you know, obviously, I feel like here's got everything I need mm-hmm. um, to accomplish that. So that's kind of the biggest thing, you know, at this point. Um, you know, kind of just go from there. Who are some of your mentors? Shoot, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, like you need advice. Who you turn it to? Yeah, and that was. Recently, um, especially with the being in the portal, it was uh, my guy, uh, Coach Gary Anderson. Oh, really? Yeah. So he kind of was a was a big help in um, just you know helping me, you know, decide where to go, and even um, you know even aside from that, just advice that was kind of a big thing for me because yeah. uh, my head was spinning at one point. I didn't know where to go. Like I was like, shoot, I don't know where go to Wazoo. Goes close to home. Coach Frank's there. And that's right. my guy too. You is know Frank at Wazoo now? Yeah, he's at Wazoo. Oh, uh, I love Frank. Bro, he's the man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about another dude I respect. Frank. Yeah, hundred percent. Yes, good so, guy. So it was that, and like, bro, I was like, shoot, I don't know. And then obviously here, the situation here, and then obviously Minnesota and South Carolina. I thought that was a great situation, just resources, everything, boom, boom, boom. So I'm talking to him, and he obviously he kind of ended up talking with the coaches and everyone, and kind of getting a point of view and kind of helping me clear it out. So that was kind of a big mentor for me. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Other than that, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I have, like, a true one mentor. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, my parents don't know a whole lot about the sports. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) They never never really played sports. But, uh, you know, I I will ask my mom occasionally just what she thinks. Even if she doesn't have a knowledge, she usually always says something that, like, makes me like, all right, yeah, like. It's a motherly instinct. Exactly. exactly. You can't can't beat him, man. It's nature. (laughs) Exactly. That's awesome. What a, uh, well, that's cool that you still like talk to, you can like reach out to Coach Anderson like that. Yeah. Gary, that's way sweet. Um, He was always a good dude. What are like, who are some of the players that you, I guess, watch? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. Kind of watch a a ton of guys. Um, 
obviously Bobby Wagner was a, a big one. Yeah. Um, Fred Warner. Yeah. Um, he's a big one. And then I like guys. I like to watch guys who are like edge players almost. Um, mm-hmm. Cause that's kind of what I did. And also another reason why I came here. Cause obviously they do that with their linebackers. They put them on the edge. And stuff. Yeah. But guys like um, Michael Parsons and then even true edge guys like, um, can't even think but just like edge edge rushers in general yeah. i like to watch um but yeah i, I watch a lot of guys i mean i watch most a lot of college guys too especially guys who like just recently got drafted like yeah like, what are they doing what, what are they good at and stuff and right something some stuff that I, you know i can you know bring to my game that'll help me so that's dope what are some things because i mean people who know like day in day out like it can get very monotonous and kind of old the grind so what are some things that like motivate you and kind of keep you focused. Yeah, I mean, for me, I've always been, you know, try to get, stay true to the grind, you know what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. at Utah State, like, I always try to put that extra work because, you know, I know it's what got me to Utah State, you know, that extra work because um, obviously where I was from, kind of growing, going into Utah State, I knew, like, I felt like I always had to do more right. to, you know, be, be able to play and stuff because obviously not a lot of guys are coming from where I'm from Yeah, uh, to play, you know, FES, D1, or whatever. So I always kind of, you know, try to put extra work in. And that, that's kind of always what helped me get on the field early there at mm-hmm. Utah State and kind of obviously um, find some success at Utah State. So, you know, since honestly, like, just staying to that, you know, recipe, you know, always grinding, um, staying true to it. And obviously, like, going to the league, I know, is like, no, like, easy task. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So I'm going to have to put everything I got into it to get that shot, to get that opportunity, you know, to obviously stay and be, you know, be able to play. Cause obviously like, I don't want to just go up there and just, you know, leave, you know what I'm saying? I want right. to be there for a little minute and uh, kind of do that. But you know, that's a big thing. And obviously my family is a big thing for me, motivation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're always working. My mom works a ton, you know, she works two jobs, you know, and yeah. still makes, makes time to come watch me uh, make the drive. They never fly. They always drive like three right. hours, you know, to watch me. So it should be more now that I'm in Provo. That's driving crazy. further down so just that and you know how much support i got from back home like that that's a big motivation for me for sure that's awesome so when you're not grinding what are you doing like what are some of your hobbies yeah that's a good question and that's really like honestly like something i'm working <laughs> on because i don't <laughs> have any hobbies are you a gamer are you a movie watcher or? uh I'm, I'm a i'm not like a hardcore gamer yeah. i got the game like i'll play madden ufc but i'm not like call of duty Head, yeah, like, where I'm like in the headset, like right. gaming out, spazzing out in my room. I'm not, <laughs> that's not me, but like I'm a movie head for sure. Like really? I like watching TV shows, movies. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm big into that. You got sure. a favorite movie? It's always hard. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about favorite movie. I got some favorite shows though. Like what? Snowfall is one of them. You seen yeah. it? Mm-hmm. You need to watch that. It's fire. Yeah, yeah, super fire. Snowfall. Um, Snowfall. Power, you seen Power? No. Kind of that whole series. You got to watch those shows. I, don't, I know I'm forgetting one, like, super, you know, obviously, like, the, like, Outer Banks and Stranger Things, like, stuff you're, like that. Yeah, yeah, you're into that stuff, Yeah, huh? so. so you're like, into, like, actual shows that have, like, a full story, full yeah, season. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, I like to, like, just binge watch it when I got time, like, just watch it. Um, yeah, so. That's dope. Yeah. So, well, something I ask everybody, I don't know if you've seen this, but what's something about you that most people uh, wouldn't know or it might surprise them? Find yeah, out. that's a good question. Obviously, I actually did see that. I've been trying to think of something. To yeah, because I knew you were going to ask. Me. <laughs> I don't know. My question was going to be like, I don't really have any hobbies, to be honest. Or even that my parents are super small. We already touched on that. But uh, I don't know. That's a good question, to be honest. I mean, I feel like most people know a lot about me. Yeah. Um, I don't do too much, obviously. Just kind of just chill, do football, and kind of just go home. You know, it's kind of. You know, my life at this point. Hey, man, when you're uh, when you're putting in the work, you don't really want to do anything. Besides yeah, exactly. Like just hang out. <laughs> exactly. Man. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, uh, I mean, I appreciate you coming. And uh, I'm happy that you're here. I remember, like, when you are in the portal, I saw that you were going to a couple different places. I hit you in the DMs. I was like, hey, bro, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, there's a lot of dudes. I think there was – we were counting the other day. There's, like, five dudes from Utah State Yeah. that, like – all played at the same time that are here now. Yeah. And so it's been dope. It's been fun. But I'm excited to see what you do this year and to play with you. 
and uh, hoping that you have a great year and then you're able to, you know, get drafted at the end, at the end of all of it. That'd be super dope. Um, but I think people are really going to enjoy getting to know you because it's, I mean, they haven't had the chance to yet. They, you know, you haven't done a lot. You've done your photo shoot. They post your photo right. shoot. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I appreciate you taking time to come on the pod and uh, we'll shoot this out and uh, hopefully people can, can have something to get to know you a little better. Sounds good, bro. I appreciate you having me. This is dope. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you.